Traffic stops would normally go a lot smoother if those involved kept a cool head and did not make irrational decisions. But that would also make for some pretty boring content. This video is all about traffic stops that went from 0 to 100 really fast, and you won't believe how hectic things are until you see for yourself. Put your hands up! Oh, I swear to God! Push your hands up! You put it in park! Sir. A chuckle and a smile here and there during a chat with an officer always makes an encounter that much more tolerable. And sure, there have been plenty of those during this encounter in Arkansas, November the 2nd of 2020, yet the driver, Brad Allen Edmonston, is about to make a drastic decision in response to Trooper Remington at the drop of a hat. Okay. I'm Trooper Live with Arkansas State Police. Right, I know you are. Reason I stopped you three tags. Right. Look at that running on Braddy, even got that injured. Okay. Where are you headed today? I'm dead at home. Staying at home. Got your driver's license on you? I get mine tomorrow, but <laughs> Do you? you know. Good deal. All right, yep. My black shirt finally laid down on me. Did it? Yeah. All right. Mom and Dad did. Good. Okay, where'd you say y'all was headed today? She's taking me back to where I was. Back to where you were? Okay. You got anything in the vehicle today? No. Nothing at all? Kind of search your vehicle? Yeah. All right, go ahead and hop out with me. <laughs> Down the fast. Anything on you can put me, stick me, man? No. Uh, for officer safety for weapons. Can I search your pockets? You do what? You want me to empty my pockets? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in for two. <laughs> oh, my God. You might need a pole or something. Yeah. Something good, though. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> During a consented search, a small bag containing a white substance is removed from Edmonston's pocket. Trooper Lively quickly examines it, and then after a quick glance at the suspicious baggie, he then places the driver under arrest. Edmonston, however, does not respond very well and immediately tries to wrestle his way out of captivity while the female passenger records it all. Look, you don't want to tense up, okay? You want to do this no, the easy way or the hard way? Bull Turn hey. around. That did not come out of my pocket, buddy. Step I promise you. No. Step over there. What's the Call mom right now. Step over there. Hey, dude. I don't do look. that. No, you ain't doing it. Look. Come on, man. Look, you're fixing to have a real bad day. Well, look. Okay. Just stop for a second, all right? Oh, 
Back up. I am backing up. It was not my pocket. There it is. What is it? The bongo is so Step cold. away. I was just looking to see what it was. Let me up. Hey, hey. Just so you know, he's had five lung surgeries, okay? Are you down? He's had a lo collapse lung several times. <laughs> I recorded it. Yeah? It's on video. Up. It's speed on you. Hop up. Easy to put these steps. Yeah, put these steps up behind my back. You have to put the cuffs in the front. No, I don't. You okay. You'll regret that. It's alright. We should talk about that before we start fighting cops. The doctors will have your I wouldn't fight nobody. Why are you taking the cops? Stop. Walk back here. Walk it. back here. Let me get my stuff. Why are you doing me like this? He said walk back here. Why are you doing me like this? Why are you saving my life? Hey. Get in the car. You're under arrest. Get in the car. 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 Let me talk. No, we'll talk when we get to the joke. Get in the car right now. You don't have to pay. You have to put it on the other side. Get in the car. What? Get down in the car. Get in the car. No. Get in the car. I'm recording, okay? I'm crying. Can you stop for a minute? Sit in the car. Sit in the car. Sit in the car. Sit in the car. Sit down, okay? You want me to put you in the car? That's not coming to me. The suspect is now in the back of a police car and just as livid as before. For a man who allegedly had lung surgery and can't breathe, he's awfully vocal about voicing his displeasure over what has taken place. And admittedly, I worded that in a rather delicate manner. But his colorful vocabulary will most certainly prove that he is not one to mince words. Hey! Really good! Up in this door, I forgot to film it! Get in! Amanda! Hey! I can't breathe! Open the door! Open the door! Hey! Get in the back of the door! Get in the door! Hey, dude! Get Hey! Hey! God damn it! Mother God damn it! Hey! 
Even after dusk has crept in and the sun decided to hide for another day, Edmonston is still not calming down. I wouldn't be surprised if he'd spent an hour or more screaming his lungs out from the back of the police cruiser, and even with warnings from the trooper, he refuses to get quiet. Help! 
Say so you're a bad guy, you made some bad decisions. They don't the same thing, don't cut my head on the back of their foot down his back. Morning, I'll be 10 15 on the mountain, I'll be in the county. I mean, it's killed, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hear me? Hear me, I'm being serious, dude, I'm hurt. It's hurt bad. Oh, God. Dude, come on, man. It was never actually revealed what the white substance in the plastic bag was, and it seemed that all charges against Edmonston were dropped in 2021. And so we do not know the conclusion of this ever so fortunate ending to this mess. There's no denying that it got ugly here, and Edmonston's constant screaming and shouting made him look all the more foolish. But what about this next encounter? Now don't go thinking that old ladies are always law-abiding citizens. You'll never look at your granny the same way again after seeing the events that unfolded in this video, July the 17th of 2019, in Cashion, Oklahoma. It involves 65-year-old Deborah Hamill being pulled over due to a broken taillight, and considering she had it for a while, she's about to face a fine, but doesn't think that she's deserving of any punishment whatsoever. Hello. Hi. So what's going on with your truck? It's been hit, and we're waiting to see if I can't find a bed for it. A short bed. It's drivable. Yeah, but it's not legal because you got a busted tail light. You got your driver license insurance on you? I've driven it up here ever since it's been like this. How long ago has it been like that? Uh, probably about six months. Oh, okay. Well, you've had plenty of time to get it fixed. I've driven it up here a lot. Okay. Well, I drive to Kingfisher, I drive it to Gatherer, and you guys stay up the interstate. Live here in town? No, my name's Hamill. I live out on my Mississippi pool. Hamill, huh? Yeah, Hamill. Huh? Gotcha. Related to Hank? I'm his mother. Oh, okay. Insurance. All right, appreciate it. Yeah, busted tail light seems to be a pattern with the Hamels. Well, y'all had a headlight out on one of your cop cars the other night. We did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just don't feel like it. We should have. Yeah, I guess. All right, sit tight for me. I'm yet. Stay in the vehicle. After revealing how long that she'd been driving around with a broken tail light on her pickup truck, which was no less than six months, the officer offers a fair penalty, an $80 ticket. After all, she had half a year to have it repaired. But you won't believe what happens next. All right, Miss Hamill, since you informed me that you've had that for six months. Oh, yeah, and we're just looking for a bed because... We can't find a short bed. I mean, my brother's you, looking for it. We're can you all... at least get the light? I don't know if I can get the light. Uh, they've got lights on them, don't they? They do have lights in them, and they do work. Well, you're, because... it's broken. Yeah, I know it's so broken. So if you hit your brake lights, that white I... bulb's going to blind somebody at night. Oh, okay. Well, that's, can I put that's... red tape on it? Will that work? Yeah, but I don't think... I don't think red tape's gonna help you there. You don't have enough plastic to tape over. Well, you know, I kinda hate to buy one if I'm gonna get the whole bed and it's gonna have everything on it. I gotcha. You know, I just don't wanna spend the money. I understand. And, you know, I don't drive it to Texas. I don't drive it in the city. I go to Guthrie, Kingfisher. I'm going right now to check on cattle. Okay. Well, I did issue a, for a defective equipment. It's $80. Uh, you have till September what? 16th to take care of this. Uh, get you to sign over the X's. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. But you, you've seen me in here. You've seen me in no, town. I, and I haven't. You had to have been up here. Nope. Either way, I'm issuing you a citation. Sign there, please. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do $80. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. Right. That's all you want Go ahead and step out of the car. Why? Because you're under arrest. Step no, out. Not. Step out of the vehicle. No, I'm not. 
Step out. Ow. Step out. I'm giving you a lawful order. Step out. You be fair with me and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under no. arrest. Step you out. You are full of because you're not placing me under no arrest. Step out. No, I'm not. 305, no, 303. Do not, do not oh, take shut off. shut up and give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. no we're beyond that. Do you want me Step to... out. Even with an otherwise fair punishment being handed down, Hamill remains non-compliant, insisting that she should just be given a warning for being honest. However, refusing to sign the ticket, she's then placed under arrest, though her saying that she is not is obviously not making the situation magically fix itself as though she's probably hoping. Seriously, do people honestly think that they're pulling out a reverse UNO card by saying that they're not under arrest? Regardless, she's driven off and the officer is in hot pursuit. After pulling into an oil facility parking lot, the police officer immediately pulls over and initiates an arrest, though she's not keen on giving up just yet. Deputy's occupant is going to be one. We're going to be pulling into the DEP oil facility. Get out of the car! 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 You better leave me! Put your hands behind your back! Leave me alone! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Lay down and put your hands behind your back. Now. No, you will not. You're going to get it again. Uh, dispatch. Go ahead and start EMS. Uh, taser deployed. One female custody. Clear. Why didn't you just sign a damn ticket? Do you realize you just got yourself in a whole lot more trouble? For running? Oh, I didn't run. I told you you weren't going to arrest me. I pulled in here thinking that you would not. Here, go ahead, go ahead and roll to your, roll to your back. All right, sit on your butt. I'm trying. Are you hurt? Yeah, I'm hurt. What hurts? Everything. All right, I got EMS on the way. Just hang tight. You got a what on the way? I got an ambulance on the way. Check you out. Ambulance? I don't need an ambulance. Well, you got taste, so they got to check you out. Well, can you just stand me up? Yeah. Oh, I'm hip. Like, oh, don't do the arm that way. Well, how do you want me to hold you up? Man? I don't know. Why can don't you... you give me a front? How about you just lean up against my leg, all right? Lean up against your leg? Yeah. Wait for them to get here. And wait for them to get here. Can you pick me up? Yeah, if you don't mind, help me get her up. There we go. Come on over here. Yeah, 10 4, she's in custody. How long 
just put them around here like that. Okay. Sir, you guys go stand over there. After being pulled out of her vehicle, she remains defiant and uncooperative and even tries to kick the officer. A taser is then deployed and she's handcuffed and finally arrested. Thankfully, some helpful locals had managed to get her on her feet and one even hugged her. While they were waiting for emergency services to arrive and give her treatment, she's eventually placed in the back of a police car. All you do is sign a ticket. 305, you like Hold on. 305, can you 1099? Can you realize something? Nobody wants to. Would you like any deputies to still continue that way? Uh, negative, deputies can 1022. Probably going to need EMS out here to check her out. Uh, if you can go ahead and get a hold of GNS wrecking. EMS has been advised. All right, walk to my car, ma'am. Can I shut my pickup off? I'll, I'll, I'll turn it off for you. Come on. That's that's the taser core. They're going to get that out of you. All right. Get it out of me. Yeah, there's two prongs in you. Two prongs in me. Oh, cute. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll turn the air on. I'll let you cool well, down. Can you pull your seat up or something? Or and that's that's as much as we got. I and wasn't I, going to. All you had to yes, do was you, sign a ticket. But can you well, just listen to me a minute? Do you know that nobody, nobody wants to come to cash in for any reason whatsoever because they know it's going to be an $80 fine for some dumb something all the time? Well, when you're driving around like that, where do you think you can go drive around and get away with like that? Guthrie, Kingfisher, because I'm going through Kingfisher right now to go to Loyal. You may not listen. And I've bought groceries. You I, may not like the laws, but we're here to enforce them. Whether that be in Cash in Oklahoma County or wherever, okay? You guys are going to learn the hard way that we're not putting up with it. Who's you guys? Just the you're just, just you're, the you're saying the Hamels. The you citizens. Guys. The citizens of Cash. All right. The you break the law in Cash, and we're going to enforce it. Yeah. Whether you're a Hamel or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Did this? You did not have to taser me. You wouldn't comply. You wouldn't get out. And then you tried to kick me. So Why? yes, I did. Yeah, I tried to kick you because yeah. I'm a country girl. Because no, I and didn't. And you got like tased because of it. Yes, and I didn't like being thrown on the damn ground. Well, next time, listen to what I'm telling you to do. You're the one that escalated this. All you had to do was sign. You would have been on your way. Sign an eighty-dollar ticket that I had no business of even getting. You told me you've been driving that for six months. That's half a year. That's right. Okay. And every time that we try to find... Well, you, fire. You you three 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 five. Due to fleeing and attempting to fight the officer, Hamill received a misdemeanor charge of a resisting arrest, a felony charge of battery or assault, and battery on a police officer, whereby the police reports state that she attempted to kick the officer below the belt. Despite having pled not guilty in court, she eventually accepted a plea deal for smaller charges and paid roughly $1,500 in fees and fines in the end. Perhaps just accepting the ticket would have been a wiser idea, but the next person certainly makes a bad decision as well. Too little too late. When an officer asks you to get out of your car, most people do exactly that. Some, however, respond with defiance, like this person did at Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, May 15th of 2022. And her reasoning? Well, she seemed keen on shouting them aloud repeatedly. Is it your car? No, I'm, I'm right. The, the, You're riding it? Okay. All right. Do you have a driver's license in the rental agreement? The paperwork for the rental? Like, who's renting the car? I got it on my phone. I'll t yeah, that's fine. If you got it on your phone, that's fine. Where you guys got to go to? Oshkosh. Oshkosh? Okay. Oh, thank you. You got anything on your phone as far as, like, the rental agreement? They just like us to make sure that the actual person that renting the car. That's the rental agreement. Yeah. All right, I'll give it back. Like I said, they just want us to make sure that the driver of the vehicle is the one that's riding it. I'll be right back with you. Okay. 
Louisville. Hey, Deputy Vince Fonk on Sheriff's Office. I'm a canine deputy and I'm in the area while he's on his traffic stop. I was going to run my dog around the car. Um, just for sake, is there anything in the car? No. Okay. If you want to, st you want to step on out real quick then? It should be noted that the officer discovered the driver, who goes by the name of Tatanisha, had a series of past drug-related offenses. And while this was taking place, a second officer appeared on scene and approached the vehicle. Tatanisha soon took the opportunity to document the stop on her phone before going absolutely ballistic. Hey, I don't want no come out of the roadway. Ma'am, get, Ma get off the roadway. Come on. Get off the roadway. You me out the car, I know, so get off the highway. Come over here. Why you pulling me out the car knowing I ain't got no shoes? You like got a, a drug you dealer shoes? or Stop. something. Like, what's going on? Relax. Do you have shoes? No, no, this is, I need to know what's going on. Do I need to call my lawyer? What's going no, on? No, you, stop. stop. What's stop. going on? Uh uh, this is, uh uh. No, no, no. I got Stop. puppies in here. Relax. Don't touch me, bro. I need you to relax. No, you you the one scaring me. You pulling Why me off my car. Why am I scaring you? I'm you, just I you feel threatened. What do you mean? I feel threatened. I don't this know is what you're threat. doing. I feel threatened. All right, turn around. You're gonna place the handcuffs. You're you gonna place. You're being detained. What you mean? Stop. I'm gonna do relax. I don't know what you are doing. You pulling me out the yes, car with no shoes. Yes, you're being detained. I offered you to give you shoes. Now relax. You arresting me for what? I need your name. I'm not arresting you. I am detaining you. Out of here! I don't give a about the all this black currency, bro! This is black, black it is, bro! Because I'm in a in 2002! Don't stop. touch my phone! Let go! Let go! Hey, man, get the out of here, bro! What is You're your name? You're about to go to jail! What is your name? Stop! Bud. Hey, bud. Black as Come hell, back here. bro! Bud. It's black currency, bro! You're pulling me out of one f***ing car! Get the f*** out of here! Come back here! This racist is f***ing hell! Come on, baby, don't do that, man! This racist is Come on. Black lies about I see what the they doing, man. Bogus, bro. I'm walking on the concrete with no shoes. We're gonna get to some shoes. Oh, it's CG. This. You don't know this. This is straight. This is straight, bro. This is. I'm calling y'all supervisor. I'm suing the out of y'all. I'm black driving a Charger. Gene, you pulling me over? Yes, I'm suing the out of y'all. Yes, call my lawyer, bro. Call my lawyer. Oh uh, my baby, this 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 black cruelty, bro. Cause no, I'm driving a 2022, bro. You said you pulling me over, cause I'm driving on the speed limit. No, I'm taking off my shoes. Over. I told you I was gonna Get the, the out of here, car, go here. Yeah. You, you need to calm down and relax. I ain't dead. Nah, no, this black cruelty. That's why I gotta get the out this white town, man. You said you wanna live up here with these crackers, man. I'm done. I'm done. It's racist as. Let me woulda been white. You wanna pull me over and say get. You have a God. marijuana symbol on your keychain. I it smoke squares. Okay. So I got two dollars in, in the car. No. Okay. Cool. Search that. Okay. We'll search it then. I don't even smoke in that car. Get the out of here, bro. Okay. Yeah, can you please just let the puppy out, please? I'm asking you, just let the puppies out in the sure. box. There's That's a box. Next. I can bring That's them out here for you. Do you want shoes? Them my, yeah. You okay. can. You can even search them, bro. I just want my puppies. Them my bring them over here. And stand with her? Yeah, or I'll stand with her. She said consent. It's kind of ironic how she calls the police racist and immediately fires out racial slurs not long afterwards. Of course, no amount of self-victimization is going to deter the police from doing their job. Though it's certainly not helping here. During the search, a THC vape would be discovered. Oh, if there's shoes in there too, get her shoes out. Hey buddy, you can come over here. You don't got anything? Did he search you? No, he didn't search me. Is that okay? Yeah, it's up to you. I'm not asking you. Search me. That's fine. I got a weed symbol. Okay. Get the f out of here. You ain't even smelled weed when you got in here, bro. That's why. I, no, we didn't. Get the f out of here. Search the car for weed. That's why I said I was going to run my dog around the car. Bro. I don't understand. I'm getting both of y'all. You searching through the f though. I don't fucking search it through the f. I asked you to get the dog, bro. I wasn't doing anything. I, I wasn't going to place any handcuffs. Dog, she bro. started to freak out. Is she, could you pull right. me out? I don't trust y'all. That's fine. Yeah, you know how many black people getting people killed? Because like, you know, of y'all shoot yeah, out of us yeah, and we done like y'all do it. No, I'm not, He's searching I'm the, right. the whole car. I thought this wasn't a search. He's searching the whole car. What? He's searching the whole car. I thought he wasn't a truck. No, I said he could run his dog around. Okay. That's a dog.
Just use the nine consent now. I said get my dog. You say get your dog. No. I said you get just my said dog. No, really you said nothing's in there. You can do what you want. I just want my dogs, bro. They babies. Okay, if we grab your dogs, we can get They babies. I already got THC vapes. I don't got nothing, bro. THC vape you found in there. That's from another Alright. You're going to the back of the squad now. Man, you a do what you do, bro. No, let me in this I'm suing you. Let me in this bro. Let me go. I don't trust you. Let me the go. Can you get your hand off me? Can you get your off me? Go ahead, go ahead. Do it. You wanna see my too? You wanna see my too? What the else? You wanna see get your off me? Get off me. I don't trust y'all. I don't trust you. I don't trust y'all. That's nice. You talking about? Why are you searching me? Stop, I'm a female. I'm, searching I'm a female. You, you can't search female. me. We don't have any females. You can't search me, bro. Have to. You cannot. Search. Can you search right. me, bro? She's not searching you. Searching you. He's not searching her. He's searching her. He's frisking her for weapons before he goes in the back of my squad. Stop touching me. Don't touch 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 me. Out of here. Don't touch me. Oh my granny, don't touch me. Okay. Don't touch me. Can you not touch me? Why you? You are getting searched. You are going to jail. Do you understand that? Okay, let me do this. I don't want to go to jail, bro. You're already going. For what? Because you think I'm smoking? I don't have nothing. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Get the out of here. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Get in there. I'm not resisting. Put your feet in. I'm, why are you doing this to me, though? What do you mean? Why am I why doing this? I'm asking you questions because I'm, I'm scared. Stop. I'm running. I'm scared. You don't understand that. No, I'm scared. Lean I keep, back. Keep, I'm trying to talk to you. You weren't trying I'm, to just yell at me. Because you're not listening to me. I, I am, Lean I am, back, please. You ain't listening to me. I have a I'm problem. I'm listening to you. Listen to me. Do not. Stop like, I pulling have away from this. Problem. Okay, do you need an ambulance out here? Yeah, because I'm going to go. Okay, cool. I'm going to charge this on you. Right now, I'm going to take this lighter off your Okay. Why you touch? Oh, go ahead, take it away from my neck, cause y'all are black. Gee, this is crazy. This yeah. is crazy. Uh, y'all yeah. won't this is for this bro. What do you need an ambulance you for, so I can let him know? I need an ambulance. I felt threatened. He touched me. Sexual harassment. Okay. Call him okay. now. All right. Now you deny medical attention. Now you deny medical attention. The I'm ambulance is coming. I'm suing you. Oh my God. You are Tossing out racial slurs and profanity galore is certainly one way of responding to an arrest. If she had calmed down, she may have gone on her way. But she was instead charged and found guilty of resisting or obstructing an officer. After being medically cleared by EMS, she was then taken to jail. Shortly after being locked up, she was then released on bond. It's surprising that her hair didn't catch on fire on the account of how utterly hot-headed that she was. And if you want to see more wild reactions to the police and their demands, well, this next clip involves a driver dragging a police officer down the road as he dangles from the vehicle. Tinted windows of varying levels of darkness may indeed result in an officer pulling you over to check if they are legal or not. That's what ended up happening to Rocky Rudolph Jr. in Seminole County, Florida, June the 29th of 2019. And the deputy involved was most likely not expecting for things to figuratively explode so abruptly. Howdy. You mind putting back the back down the back window, please, for me? All right, awesome. I'm Deputy Blazer with the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. Before I ask you any, for any um, information, the reason I'm pulling you over is because your windows appear way too dark oh, per statute. Okay, okay, so if I could do, if you could do me a favor, just roll this window about halfway up. That'll be, that's good. Right there. So in the state of Florida, the front window can be 25%, back window can be 15%, okay? The lower the number, the darker the tent. Your your front window is measuring at 3%, okay? So I thought it went by the back window, I thought. No, no, so, so as you can see, three. What that means is only 3% of the outside ambient light is getting through your window. Okay, that's why that's why they do that, that way. Um, do you have your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance? You can put this back down for me. 
What's that? How's it going this morning, bro? Living the dream. I see that. <laughs> Living the dream. Happy. I see you on the trail. Looking like what the hell happened. 2513. 1038. Rocky Money yes, sir. Rudolph <laughs> Jr. Yes, sir. That name is awesome. <laughs> that is probably in 14 years, that is probably the best name I've seen. <laughs> This, this is the application for a certificate of title. Uh, yeah. This, this is not too late. This is the registration right here. Okay. It's saying it's, uh, I guess your your birthday's probably on the fifth. Is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So, so ultimately it, it's technically expired. Yeah. But we don't cite for that. There's case law that says it goes to the end of the month. Yeah. So you need to get that changed. Yeah, I will. Right? Time. I'm doing this new project down here. Um, the homeless community thing they're doing. Okay. I'm building that there. Working down there, building on that and stuff. Okay. So I'll be through the area all the time. All right. Well, yeah, make sure you get that updated. And do you have uh, the so, uh, insurance card? Because I did it over the phone. And they, they pulled the fax everything over. Mm -hmm. And they sent it to my baby mama address. And I ain't been dealing with her. I got to probably go out there and get it. Do, do you have an app or anything? You should be able to get it on on an app if you've got the uh, sign into the app. Oh, yeah. I just gotta check and make sure make sure it's good. Yeah, it's good. I just paid this stuff. Yeah. So far, the traffic stop seems to be going well. Rudolph Jr. is cooperative and talkative and seems to be getting along well with the deputy. The suspect admits to feeling nervous, though the deputy is quick to question him about it all. Could it be nerves, or is he perhaps hiding something? Why are you nervous? Oh, I don't know. She is caught. <laughs> huh? No, ain't no reason. I think I have had nerves. I ain't got no reason to be nervous. So. Just my nerves. What's that? Just some got bad nerves. So. Okay. There's no need to be nervous, man. Yeah, man. Cause I was wondering, you know, I was like, oh, I did, I did. I thought, Ten. I thought it was the light or something. Looking like, no, I ain't running no. the light. Ten. Yeah. It's pet peeve of mine. I was just, oh, okay. I was just trying to see where you were going because it's, it's seriously unsafe to be pulling cars over over there, man. So I don't. Oh, never do it. that's what I was wondering. Like, I try and happened? get, in, I try and follow somebody until <laughs> they get in a safe area. <laughs> oh, okay. For okay. me, okay. You know, yeah. and then I, and then I attempt to stop. Trying to get to this hurricane. Just take a second. I'm good. Facebook. Yeah, we don't need a uh, Facebook. Infinity Auto Insurance. Unless you wanna Facebook Live us and be like, hey, you want to my email? Watch this stuff. I think it could make me. I just paid. Is this good? It's also gonna be about time for you to get a new license. Yeah, I know I get all that stuff straight. Now I've been so busy, man. Right? No, I got to take a day off. I feel you. Y'all, y'all working today? Ah, no. I, oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, today being your day off, everything else is closed too. <laughs> Sorry. This is the point where Deputy Blaze detects the smell of a controlled substance in the vehicle, and not wanting an otherwise pleasant exchange to get in the way of his duties, he questions the suspect about it which then results in things spiraling out of control when the officer allegedly notices the suspect attempting to start his car and drive away. Awesome. All right, Mr. Rudolph. Yes, sir. Is there any reason why there would be a hint faint of, of weed coming out of your vehicle? Do you smoke? Do you have any friends that smoke, anything like that? No, sir. just black and mild. Probably black and mild smoke. Mm -hmm. black and mild. No. I know the difference between black and mild smoke and this and that. Do you do you have any uh, marijuana in the car? Yes, sir. Okay. So there's no marijuana in the car at all. Okay. And do you have a Florida health card that allows you to smoke medical marijuana? No, sir. No. Okay. What's that? Just left the Walmart up. Okay. Yeah, I did too. I. Well, I had to go to the bathroom or something fierce. Oh, that was you I seen back then. I just rolled through there. You, you see me go in there, go to the bathroom, come back oh, out. Okay, I just rolled through and dropped the chick off at work in there. Yeah, okay. okay. I seen all the right. car back then, but I don't know. I was thinking first thing in the morning. All right. Can you, can you do me a favor and just shut the car off for me? What, what, what happened, sir? Huh? Well, I smell, I smell marijuana. 
and you don't have a you don't have a card. So I'm not. I, listen, listen, listen. I'm not. I'm not concerned with some personal use stuff, man. It doesn't even warrant my time. Right. Would you mind shutting the car off, please? Huh? I, I understand. Just shut the car off for me, please. Okay. All right. Two five thirteen. Somehow, step him up, please. It's it's no big deal. I mean, I'm bro, not. Like I said, from old hey, hey, hey. Listen, bro. listen, on, listen. Man. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Stop. 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 Put it in. Put it in park. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your freaking hands up. Let me know he's just trying to take off with me. Step him up now. Sir, I'm telling you. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I swear to God. Put your hands up. You put it in park. Sir. Rudolph was holding on to the deputy and kept him partially inside the vehicle while he dragged the deputy down the road for roughly 100 yards. After falling off, he then rolls to a median and left in a cloud of dust. It may have seemed as though Rudolph had gotten away, but he was eventually caught eight hours down the line. And as a result of his reckless actions, he faced charges for attempted murder. The deputy did make it through in the end and was treated for a wound to his leg at the hospital before eventually being discharged. This one was seriously crazy, but stick around if you're hankering to see even more crazy traffic stops because the next one ends with a car being split in half and its driver confused as to what happened. This footage takes place on September 7th of 2022 in Arkansas. When a vehicle was spotted passing on the shoulder, police then pulled it over and Eric Winford insisted that his passenger Brittany was being taken to the hospital. Trooper Robert State Police, I stopped you for passing on the shoulder, my man. You got your driver's license. I don't, I don't have a license. I was taking her to the hospital. She's going to kill it. She's going to move. That's why I don't know. Go ahead. Step out for me. Oh, car. Any weapons on you? Oh, no, Nothing sir. in the car? No, sir. All right. So so what's the deal? She's woozy. Why don't you take her to the hospital back here? Because I had got off right here on my way here. She started saying she was the fella good, so I got off. Otherwise, I would have never got on her. All right. Right. You got an ID on you? Oh, yes, sir. All right. Give me your ID. Well, traffic backed up because of a crash up here, okay? Because right. I was going to turn around right here and go back to the hospital. All right. Mr. Winford, your car? All right. It's a friend of mine. A friend of yours car? Okay. Let me ask you a question. You smoke marijuana. Uh, and be honest with me because I can smell it on you. Yes, before I got in the car, I did, but there's okay. no marijuana in the car. You can, there's marijuana in the car? There's no, not there's, there's none. You can, but you should do the paper to stick your tongue out. Okay. So you, where are y'all coming from right now? I was coming from the hotel. From the hotel? Yes, sir. Do you smoke back at the hotel? Yes, sir. Okay. Do me a favor, stand right there. Right. She, who is she? Ma'am, you got an ID on you? No ID? How do you know him? Fred? Any marijuana in the car that you know of? No? Okay. Hey, before I before I go back here, nothing, nothing illegal on you? Oh, no. Put sir. You, let me check and make sure you got nothing illegal on you. All right, I'll be back with you just a second. D4, D26. Hey, 1019 over here to the one southbound. As far as he run a uh, 1030 for me out of Illinois, please. 302 William, 5162-0379-302 William, Illinois, it's an ID card. 10 4 is 1052, ID card is valid. 10-4, is he sure to have a DL anywhere? Never mind. 4 to 1, 18, what time is Gordon? 4 city. 9 a.m. You're down to 41, 9 a.m. 4 to 1, 18. He, he's, he said he smoked right before they left the hotel room, and he's, uh, I asked where they was coming from. He said the hotel. Couldn't get nothing back on his license. What's it for? Go ahead. I'm not showing another driver's license in another state or anything. 10-4, so he just has an ID. 10-4. 10-4, thank you. 
The officer then detects the odor of a controlled substance, and while the pair are not under arrest, they are read their rights in advance. Could there be something hidden inside of the vehicle? After running the license plate, the trooper then speaks to the driver and detains him for further inspection. All right, Mr. Winford, uh, before I go in your car or anything else, I'm going to tell you your rights, okay? You're not under arrest right now, but you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one may be appointed to you by the courts. If you decide to answer questions, you can stop answering questions at any time until you talk to an attorney or have an attorney present with you for further questions. Do you understand those rights? The reason I'm going to go in your car is because I can smell the odor of marijuana, not only on you, but also in the car when I went back up there. Uh, that could be because it's on you. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a li it's, it's loud, um, and I can smell it. Uh, it's very strong, okay? Is there anything illegal in the car that I need to know about? No, sir. Nothing at all? Uh, is there any guns in the car? No, I don't. And it's not that you can't have a gun. I just want to know before I go sticking my hands around anywhere, no. I don't have no, a gun sir. go off in it, okay? No, sir. What about on her? Anything illegal you know about her? Not that I know. Okay. But it's just your friend or girlfriend yeah, or a friend of mine. just a friend of yours? Okay. Uh, how do you know? Was she from here? Uh, yeah. You from here too? Yeah. You? I stay here now. Okay. So you don't have a driver's license? No, sir. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to uh, walk right up and stand right at the very corner of your, of your car. That way, if anything happens behind us, you don't get hit, okay? All right. Put her front up. Yeah. Right up here on the front corner for me. Oh, okay. All right, ma'am. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Go ahead and jump off your telephone because I'm going to talk to you for just a second. Step out for me. Step right back here. All right. Listen to me. I'm going to... Go ahead and place your purse up here. I'm going to tell you your rights, okay? You're not under arrest right now, but I want you to know your rights before I ask you any further questions, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one may be appointed you by the courts. If you decide to answer questions, you can stop answering questions at any time until you talk to an attorney or have an attorney present for further questions. Do you understand those rights? Okay. Anything illegal in your purse, anything illegal in the car that belongs to you, anything illegal on you, do I need to have a female officer come out here and check you. No, nothing illegal on you. Nothing illegal in your purse. Because I'm going to search it, okay? Okay. So the reason I'm going to search the car is because I can put the strong odor of marijuana coming out of the car. Also on him. You smoke weed? Okay. So I don't have anything against smoking weed. I just don't, you can't have it unless you have a medical card. Do you have a medical card? You don't? Okay. Does he that you know of? You don't know. Okay. How long have you known him? I'm going to let you stand right here while I look through your purse, okay? Where y'all from? You from Mem West Memphis or Memphis? I'm from Missouri. You're from Missouri, okay. Whose car is it? You don't know? Who is Kelvin Kraft? My brother. Your brother? I'll give you his number. What are those scales for? For weed. For weed? Make sure you get what you pay for? I don't blame you. There's no fentanyl in your purse, is it? Fentanyl? No, sir. No fentanyl in my system. You would be surprised at the people that I ask about fentanyl and they go, yeah, I got a little bit. You do heroin? Yes, sir. You do meth? No, sir. I do cocaine. Cocaine? Occasionally. Occasionally? Is that what your spoon's for? You snort it or you no. shoot it? No, neither one I smoke. You smoke it? When I do Crack? It. Okay. Well, I was just wondering what the spoon was for and I could see the, the powder residue you on it. That you'll see milk on that. Okay. Okay. All right. Not a big deal then. All right, so here's what I'm having. Inside of my purse. Okay, here's what I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you walk up and stand with him, okay? The trooper recognizes the driver is under the influence, while the passenger admits that she is a drug user and does have drug paraphernalia in her purse. Just then, backup arrives on the scene and see if you can count the number of seconds until all hell breaks loose. And I'll give you one guess as to who turns everything on its head. Hey, yeah, go ahead and hook him up. Get him back to your car and talk to him. He he come by me about 45 mile an hour on his shoulder. And I get him out, I walk up and I smell older marijuana. I get him out and start talking to him. He says, yeah, I smoked at the hotel back here. He 
he's going, they were going, I don't know where they were going. And then as they get up here, he's passing on the shoulder. He says, she she says she don't feel good, so he's taking her to the hospital. He's going to go down here and turn around and go back to the hospital. No. Whatever. He's high as a kite. She's got paraphernalia in her purse, and we're probably fixing to look for some crack cocaine because she says she smokes crack when she does it. But there's uh, scales. Oh, she, she was looking when you were oh, digging. Oh, yeah. Wherever you were digging. Yeah. She was looking I'm hard. fixing to find it. I'm, I probably, we're hard. probably going to call it, uh, see if we can get a female officer. She, uh, yeah, West Memphis should have one. Okay. Uh, I guess I can. I'm Mirandizing him. Yeah, just get him back here and talk to him. And uh, he's going. He's under the influence. You can look at his eyes and tell him. He's just, man, he's like. Somewhere like driving like crap. Yeah. Billy, that my brother's gun might be in this car, just so you know. And if it is, it's in the trunk. I just want to let you know. Okay, stay up here on the corner for me. And my sister might have something in there as well. Hey! Hey! Stop! <laughs> The female passenger then decides to bolt off with the vehicle. Considering the traffic jam that's been caused by the accident, speeding down the median is dangerous enough because it could mean another accident is about to happen. And it's even more likely if she's under the influence. <laughs> female jumped in the car on me and took off. We're uh, almost to the bridge. Unfortunately, she stopped in traffic. She may have wrecked. She did. She wrecked out Far City. It's normally 1016. Far City, get me uh, West Memphis Fire. We got a truck. She hits leaking diesel. She's in the car. Uh, I don't know. Far City, get his ambulance here quick. Give me help with these anchors. Man, just, uh, have you got a fire extinguisher? Uh, not hey. No, no, not yet. Who, uh, is he in the car with you? He's in there. Okay. You want me to back up and keep the guests on fire? No, I just don't know. Hey, City advised him she's in bad shape. Hey, ma'am, stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Yeah. Yeah. Lay your head on that. Lay your head on that. Don't move. I thought she run over me. Why did she? I know she could have by like. I mean, we know why she's done it, but for what? Are y'all chasing her? Yeah, no. We're on a traffic stop with her. Hey, 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 stay stay still. Stay still. You got fire department? Yes. Hey, you want to get the fire department is 1019, correct? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. we got the interstate shut down. Hey, 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 stay, listen, 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 stay, listen, stay still. You're gonna hurt yourself. Stay still. Yeah, 10-4. Should we try to get her out? She ain't gonna be no, still. No, no. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. Stay still. Dude, she's got, she's gonna have a bad head injury. I know, she, Hey, stay still. Here, stay still. Back in. Stay still. Stay still. No. I don't know. It, it, I'm surprised it didn't, Doc, she's gonna come on out. Ma'am, stay still. The vehicle ends up being quite literally split in half from a collision with a truck. And it's a miracle that Brittany is still alive. Her legs are in the front passenger seat. Meanwhile, her head is on the ground near the seats in the back of the car. I don't know. It, it, I'm surprised it didn't, Doc, she's gonna come on out. Ma'am, stay still. Ma'am, stay still. Please. Please stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Listen. You're gonna cut yourself. Listen. Listen. Stop. Stop. No, that's her head injury. She was, just, she was on the side of the road hey. just talking to me. Hey, stay. Stay. Stay right stay, there. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. You got her. I'm gonna go see if your other guy got gloves. Please help. Listen. Listen. No, ma'am. Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Listen, you're gonna hurt yourself even worse than you already are. Sit still. Sit still. Go ahead, too. I'm trying to control this female. She's she's trying to climb out of the car. She's gonna have a severe head injury. Well, she wrecked on her own. She hit a truck trying to uh, run up the shoulder. Go! Go!
Hey, try not to hit this metal. Let's, this metal's listen. gonna cut you. Okay. Just hold still till the ambulance gets here. She got a bad burn on her arm. From yeah, the I've seen that. Yeah, no, leave, leave it. Leave. I don't want. I don't want to give her a reason to get out. Okay. Can they not block this off and get an ambulance to come through this? Way? Is that you? Yeah, that's okay. Bad. Okay. I told him to just hold up until we gotta get medical here. Hey, just stay still. Stay still. I know, I know, you're hurt. You're hurt really bad. Just chill out, you're hurt. You gotta wait. Wait for the ambulance to get here. Make sure you ain't hurt no worse. Just hold still, okay? Hey, uh, let's see if I can reach in and cut that key off. Because I got power. I don't want that in the night. Hey, what's he hauling? He's right there. Hey, hey, don't move, don't move. That thing's hot. Don't that move. Thing. Listen to me, don't. Watch me. Don't move. Don't move. The thing is hot, sir. Okay. It says clean it. Okay. Sir, can you just move it? Look, I, I moved it where you, you won't touch it anymore, okay? Crashing into a truck is one thing, but colliding with a hazmat truck with hazardous waste and a leakage of diesel fuel on the road is even worse. Thankfully, one of the drivers has been really helpful, making sure that Johns is not trying to escape from the wreckage, as any further attempts could seriously worsen her injuries even further. I don't know. It, it, I'm surprised it didn't stop. She's going to come on out. Ma'am, stay still. Ma'am, stay still. Please. Please stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Listen. You're gonna cut yourself. Listen. Listen. Stop. Stop. No, that's her head injury. She was, just, she was on the side of the road just talking to me. Hey, stay. Stay. Stay right stay, there. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. You got her. I'm gonna go see if your other guy got gloves. Please help. Listen. Listen. No, ma'am. Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Listen, you're gonna hurt yourself even worse than you already are. Sit still. Sit still. Go ahead, too. I'm trying to control this female. She's she's trying to climb out of the car. She's gonna have a severe head injury. Well, she wrecked on her own. She hit a truck trying to uh, run up the shoulder. Go! Go! Hey, try not to hit this metal. Listen, this metal's listen. gonna cut you. Okay. Just hold still till the ambulance gets here. She got a bad burn on her arm. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, no, leave, leave it. Leave. I don't want. I don't want to give her a reason to get out. Okay. Can they not block this off and get an ambulance to come through this? Is that you? Yeah, that's okay. Bad. Okay. I told him to just hold up until we gotta get medical here. Hey, just stay still. Stay Before still. City. I know, I know, you're hurt. You're hurt really bad. Just chill out, you're hurt. You gotta wait. Wait for the ambulance to get here. Make sure you ain't hurt no worse. Just hold still, okay? Hey, uh, let's see if I can reach in and cut that key off. Because I got power. I don't want to touch me tonight. Hey, what's he hauling? He's right there. Hey, hey, don't move, don't move. That thing's hot. And don't move. Me. Listen to me, don't. Watch me. Don't move. Don't move. The thing is hot, sir. Okay. It says clean it. Okay. Sir, can you just move it Look, I, I moved it where you, you won't touch it anymore, okay? After she's taken out of the vehicle, she says some truly bizarre and unbelievable things that you really have to hear for yourself. Call my girlfriend to get no, the No, you cannot act. You, can you call your girlfriend to what? To get the, the car. The car? Ma'am, your, your car's in two pieces. You don't even have back tires on it. The back tires are stuck under that truck right there. Why? Because you hit it. You were in a really bad accident. I wasn't driving. <laughs> You're the only person in the car. Just hang out. Where's Eric? He's not in the car. See ya. Finn. No. No, we, we get this moved out of the way. We can get her out, can but him, she's she's gonna have a she's bleeding out of her left ear pretty bad. No, you're fine. And uh, underneath. This is my underneath. Listen to me. Please, sir. Please, ain't gonna let him at this point. Sir, will you please let him walk to me. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I want you to stay still, okay? 
We need to try not to move no more impossible because you can have you some severe injuries. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm telling you I'm not. Please advise that they had pretty near about to run out on their phone. She actually tries to claim that she wasn't driving the vehicle and even asks the officer if her girlfriend can collect the car. It's a safe guess to say that she may be very well under the influence or just completely shaken up from the turn of events that's taken place if she honestly believes that she did nothing to cause the crash and someone can collect the car without having to pick up the literal pieces. Is, is he okay? Who? Eric. Yes. Can I see him? No. Sir. Sir. May I please see him? No, you cannot. Is he okay? He, he's fine. So why can't I see him? Because right now you're under arrest, okay? For what? For, for felony fleeing, for one. I didn't flee. For, listen to me. For battery on a police officer number two. What am I doing? You drug me down the road about 30 feet. I didn't see you, sir. You didn't see me when you jumped in the car? You said my sister may have something in there and you jumped in the car and took off with me trying to keep your get your keys? No, sir. Okay. Can I talk to my boyfriend, please? Sir. Sir. What? Can I talk to my boyfriend? No. Let, hey, he wants to wait. I'm going to wait till EMS gets here because when, when that comes open, she's going to try to run. No, I won't. No, I won't, sir. No, I won't. Here, here. That's the reason she's where she's at. Right here. I won't run. Okay, just keep both hands right there. Well, the EMS is right there. Hey, what you hit? Oh, I'm sorry. Hit. I got it. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh. Give me a hand. Come on, you got it. All right, now, now lay down. Lay down right here. Sit down, sit down right there. Lay down right here. There we go. Because you've got a bad head injury, okay? Sit down, sit down on and your I butt. Want, I don't want you to get hurt any worse than you are. Sit down on your butt. Put your feet out in front of you. I don't have no head injury. You, you got blood coming out of your head. You do. You hit your head. Where? I don't know where you hit. No, I do not. You guys are lying. Just hold still. I don't have anything on my head. Okay. Well, if you didn't, you're lucky. You were laid in the back seat of the car. Bad. Just, oh, where are they at? Where did you? Are you hurting anywhere? No, sir. Is this the only place? No, she got a severe burn on that arm. Oh, no. Oh, I see that. According to Brittany, she doesn't believe she has a head injury. It's mind-boggling how she honestly believes anything. She claims that she didn't even see the trooper that she was dragging away when she was trying to get away, despite the fact that he was hanging onto the vehicle and trying to pull the key out of the ignition. While EMS was taking the suspect in an ambulance, Winford, who is still sitting in the back of the police car watching it all unfold, seems to hold his partner in high praise, despite her attempts to abandon him by hijacking the car that he was driving. Oh my God, here she going on the she bleeding out the mouth, mama. Oh, she What? She bleeding out her mouth. Oh, Lord. I, Ma, I really do love her, though. Like, I love her. Like... She loves her really. She loves her very much now. Like, she... She, like... Out of any woman I've ever been with, regardless of what she do, mom, she treated me. She treated me right. Even though that happened that night, she ain't never treated me wrong. She treated me like I'm a king, mom. 441. Go ahead, Elise. Black bag. Start looking around there. There's quite a bit of stuff. I'm not sure what else will be in them. Possibly crack cocaine, but. She got blood in some She got blood. She had blood coming out of her ears. Oh, this ear right here. I don't know if it's that ear or if it's her face or what. Uh, must have pulled her earring out. That's where it's bleeding. Hey, what's your name? Brittany. Brittany what? Johns. Brittany. Johns. Johns, J-O-H-N-S? Yes, sir. What's your date of birth? 1589. 615 of 89? Yes, sir. Four city, four city, six fifteen, six fifteen of nineteen eighty nine, six fifteen of nineteen eighty nine. Brittany, Brittany Johns, Brittany, Brittany Johns, 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 Johns. Where are you from? Missouri. She's from Missouri. See if you can find something here for her.
A 22 revolver was found in the vehicle, and Winford was charged for possession of a firearm in addition to his traffic violations. He was consequently booked in the Crittenden County Detention Center. And as for Brittany Johns, it was discovered she had an active warrant out of Illinois with full extradition rights, so she was taken there to face her punishment.